Hi, I'm Drew. Eh, Bethany's around here somewhere. Today we're in the heart of the Windy City, inside the Chicago Pedway. Here she is. This vast network of underground passages, bridges, and tunnels spans almost five miles. And we're gonna try to walk through all of it. Not only that, we're gonna try to map it out ourselves. When we looked online for a map of the Chicago Pedway, we were not completely satisfied with what we found. To be honest, it was a little confusing. So we decided to map it ourselves and see how it goes. Let's get started. In the beautiful city of Chicago, eight blocks represents a mile, and the Chicago Pedway has about 40 blocks worth of tunnels and passages to explore. And we had the genius idea of trying to map it out ourselves. Now here's the plan. We're gonna take this pad, we're gonna get some markers, we're gonna draw some pretty pictures, and we're just gonna see how much of the Pedway we can explore, and we're gonna draw you a pretty little map. Chicago, Illinois is the third most populated city in the United States. So lots of people coming and going on any given day. And our goal today is to try to find the Chicago Pedway, which is an underground pedestrian system. And I've heard a really good starting point is right under this Roger Brown mural, 120 North LaSalle. So it should be a really good entrance point around here somewhere. We're looking for the Pedway symbol, which is a compass. Ah, so do we just go in these glass doors here? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I think there's, here it is. Oh, there's a nook. If you see this, uh -huh. you know you're in the right spot. Now we know this is a good starting point. Yeah. Okay, smooth sailing so far. I'm sure it won't stay that way with all the twists and turns in this pedestrian purgatory. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that goes into the, the bank or whatever this is. They're making you think it's easy in the beginning, and it's not. We've got elevators here. Should we take the elevator? No, that's cheating. That's a little too pedestrian for us. Construction on the Chicago Pedway started in 1951 when the city built block-long tunnels linking the Chicago Transit Authority's Red Line and Blue Line subways at Washington Street and Jackson Boulevard. Starting as two block-long pedestrian tunnels, the underground neighborhood of Chicago was built to protect pedestrians traversing the city from noisy traffic and seasonal elements. I've heard that your entrance point to the Pedway matches what's above you. So this is more of like the sophisticated yeah. <laughs> marble black and white look. Well, it at least matches the marble of the building upstairs. Okay, the symbol. I wonder how many times we're gonna see that symbol today. Oh, probably all oh, day. Don't look at the map, that's cheating. Ah, okay. Nope. We'll pan off. Okay, so we came in from 120 North LaSalle, which is where the mural was. Okay. And then if we go left, I guess that takes us into City Hall County building. Oh, but it's a revolving door. I don't like them. You get stuck. Let's watch her get stuck. Oh, I get stuck. No? Oh, she made it. Okay. She'll live to see another day. Okay, we have begun. Well, this is where we came in at, right? 120 North LaSalle, yeah. Yeah, so this was the mural. Uh-huh. I'm doing it all on pencil because I have a feeling that I'm going to be erasing a lot. Yeah. I've never made a map before. You got a good eraser on there, I hope. So we came in. How do we do this? Like just. Well, I think these steps here are going to lead us down underneath the street towards City Hall. City Hall. And then we'll say this is City Hall? Yeah. <laughs> Question mark? Ah, uh, another long stretch. Another hallway. Speaking of long stretches, the longest stretch of the Pedway runs from east to west, from 120 North LaSalle Street all the way over to Millennium Park. Thousands and thousands of people walk the Pedway each day, and we're adding to that count by two as a way to see the unseen layers of the city. This is not what I expected at all. I thought it was going to be like a mall. Well, I think that's another section of it. Uh, we're still in the beginning stages. That's a lot of ups and downs, I guess. Oh. Did you do that? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'll take my chances with the revolving door. The look of the Pedway is changing. It is. Ooh, okay. So entering from where we did mm -hmm. put us out by the City Hall County building, which is our first point of interest. Oh, okay. So we're under City Hall now. Yeah, which is we saw across the street when we were first parking. Yeah, and look at how the architecture on the steps here has changed. It's like a different colored marble. It mimics what's going on above. I don't want to get too far up here because I feel like we're going to get too astray from the pedway, but... Yeah, also, don't stare. <laughs> we just got off the elevator right in the middle of City Hall and didn't know where to go. So we asked the lovely security guard where the pedway picks up, and he said it's right down the hall here. 
The escalators look promising. I'm looking for the pedway symbol. It might be down here. I see it. Straight ahead. People are running through the revolving door. They don't like this. Lots of high schoolers coming. Okay, good luck. You got 20 people coming oh towards God. you. <laughs> How'd you like that revolving door? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. We just came through City Hall, and then we went down here and found some escalators. So this went down under the street, and now we have a four-way. I'm gonna do this. That's beautiful. Make sense? Yeah. We're gonna add color and yeah. the like, so you can actually see this. So, left, right, or straight? Probably straight. Straight looks like it has the most promise. The Chicago Pedway was built as a way to conserve on energy, but you don't have to use your car. It is very efficient. It's especially helpful if there's really bad weather outside, rain, snow, or even if it's too hot. Yeah. And now I gotta go through another revolving oh, door. Good luck. I don't like it. And she made it once again. I also don't like the one with spikes on them, like the bars, like that one. That's terrifying. Oh look, this is the blue one. The public transit area. This is the CTA. So we're gonna enter more of like the shopping part of the pedway. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, thank God. That's how a door should be, all right? Just open it and you walk through. This is feeling a little more normal and less scary. <laughs> Where did we put Normalville? Did we go straight? We did. And this kind of led to like a... A mall corridor. Put shops, restaurants. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving the mall area. The Pedway connects more than 50 different buildings and several different transit lines. Like here's the red line right here. It's pretty clean too. Back in 2015 to 2017, they had some problems with uh, sanitation because nobody could decide who was responsible for cleanliness of the Pedway. The poor forgotten Pedway. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Oh, great. Oh, wait, that's just, oh. this is closed. Oh, we're gonna go this way. They're forcing us to go a different route. We came from that way, then go through that way. Ah, <laughs> they put a wall up in the maze. <laughs> oh, this takes us to Millennium Park, which is where we wanted to go. Exactly. And look at this. They literally broke the revolving door just for you. They knew I was coming. Once again, the architecture has changed. We've now got this rust-colored marble, I guess. It's not as sophisticated as a city hall yeah. building. And now it's changed again. The stained glass windows. We got stained glass windows over here. So what I love about the Pedway is that there are hidden gems everywhere. Yeah. For example, as you can see behind me, there are these stained glass windows. There are 22 of them, and they were installed in 2013. They've been here for almost a decade but they're American Victorian stained glass. And this is just a nice added touch to this particular stretch of the Pedway. So much to see. I imagine even those who use it every day would find something new down here. Some of these are pretty intricate. They are. Further. Okay. My worst fear. I could have just gone through this one. Why are you making me go through all of these? Stop. What? No, those don't. Stop. Those don't work. I think you're lying. I think they do. Ooh, look, Millennium Park. Okay, that's where we want to go. What is this? LA Fitness? <gasps> There's a pool. What? Down the map. <laughs> we can't go in. We don't have memberships. Draw a little stick figure swimming. Or right, we're gonna have to do this. Uh -oh. These were the stained glass windows here. And now we have a swimming pool. That one person is using. That's a travesty. And then I'm gonna draw a swimmer paddling with his arms. He That's is. a swimmer, right? Oh, there's another map. Don't look at it. We can look at this though. I've seen a number of these. They're closed, barred up small businesses. Back in 2020 and 2021, because of the pandemic, they had to close the Pedway. So a lot of these smaller businesses that are only accessible through the Pedway had to be closed and a lot of them just never reopened. So there are abandoned places inside of the Pedway. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is still here, but they're definitely not open. This was a shoe shine, shoes, boots, repair shop. This is the state it's in now. It's kind of sad. We are still in the Pedway. Oh, thank goodness. I was not sure for a moment. So while we think the Chicago Pedway is pretty great, it has garnered a lot of criticisms over the years for its poor signage, bad lighting. Yeah, you, you can, can see, see some. Disorienting hallways. So it's not 100%. You could get lost very easily. It's a little tricky at times. Like, what is this? Is this supposed to be an elevator? I think so. Temporarily out oh. of service. 
That is definitely out of service, I would say. Yeah, that's a little scary. Right. Somebody's even put up a handwritten detour note with band-aids. Detour elevator, take ramp to right, down to entrance right through doors to Pedway. Go a short way to, on the right, elevator to cultural center lobby, exit, go left to ramp to sidewalk. Okay, well, I don't, I Who think I'm even more confused now. Who says the Pedway would difficult to navigate? So of course we have to point out that the Chicago Pedway was used in the movie The Dark Knight. You might recognize this section of it right here. This is where the Joker chased Batman on the bat pod through that little mall area. Actually, I think he was going that way though. He came in there and he went out through the doors that we came in. Sounds like a noteworthy point to make on the map. I mean, you can even recognize the lights in the ceiling are exactly the same. 65 years of expansions and changes to the Pedway have created a labyrinth of liminal spaces and disjointed places. However, engineers and creative consultants continue to plan ways to rethink and renovate this urban underground. We're nearing the end of the day, so we're trying to scribble out what we may have missed in our mapping journey. And that goes to there, so it's actually several different pages. Oh boy! I think we really have created something amazing here that everyone's going to adore. And because it is approaching the five o'clock hour, we're talking about making our way upstairs. Let's head up. Uh, well, here it is, the official Oddity Odyssey's map of the Pedway. Oh my gosh, did we kill it or what? This pedestrian network can be a little disorienting, but getting lost is happening. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And we hope you'll stick around and watch another one of our episodes. That's right. There's still plenty of Chicago oddities left to explore. So we hope to see you on the next adventure. Also, a, a stranger just came up and handed us maps of the Pedway. I think he knows there for Yes, that. right here. But we can't look at these no. either. <laughs> He's like, here you go. Hey, thanks, sir. He's like, oh, you, you poor lost people. Don't look at these. Cheating.